Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel and today look where we are. We're at North Woolwich and what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be attempting the super loop challenge. We're gonna get through all the loops in as fast time as possible really. So we're currently waiting for the SL2 to rock up and then we can start the challenge. I've got my stopwatch because I can't record on my phone and do this at the same time. But yeah, we're at the bus stop and we're waiting for the bus to turn up. I'm probably gonna win because I'm very competitive like that. But we shall see who wins. The SL2 is now rocking up. Hello. Morning, sir. How are you? <laughs> So we're on the SL2 now. Now the stopwatch. SL2. Oh. Two. Welcome to Central. Stopwatch started. Let's start this race. So we're on the SL2 now, and I feel like I'm gonna get a quick time, just because it's Good Friday today, so people won't be going outside, hopefully. But Ilford Lane will depict if I do good or bad, quite literally, and it's so annoying, but we're going to do good. I know I know we're going to do good, that's the thing, so we're just going to wait and see what happens. SL7, I'm dreading. I think SL7 feels good. So since the first day, we've got new maps. New maps, that's cool. We, I didn't do SL2 the first day, did it? I'm just hoping that I keep sanity by the SL7 because it's not gonna look good. But I'm enjoying it so far. But it's only been like the first one. My stopwatch out. First five minutes or six minutes of the challenge. So I don't know if I'll keep sanity by the end of this, but we'll see. Bits. 
so we're now approaching Broding Lane. Since we've left, um, what's it called? Since we've left North Woolwich, it's been 34 minutes. And I feel like I'm gonna change at um, the bell instead of the bus station walk though to save just that few extra minutes to win the race. So I'll catch you guys at the bell. <laughs> I'm now off the SL2 and it took 49 minutes. So I'm gonna walk over to the other stop to, to get to the SL1. Good, it's going good so far, it's getting good, it's getting good. I'm currently beating other YouTubers, which is the best part of it. And yeah, I'm just gonna go to the SL1 now. That driver was so, so, so nice. I hope all my drivers are that nice. So I'm going to be adding in the wait times as well, just because it wouldn't make sense for me just to do the routes on its own, because that's not part of the challenge. It's about the changeovers as well. So I'm gonna add it in. So I'm just walking over to the, that bus stop over there. I was gonna change at the market, but I've been on SL1 a lot of times and they like to depart early. Because if I miss the SL1, the challenge is over. I literally lost. So I am just hoping for an SL1 to turn up in the next, like, max I can wait here is about like three minutes just because I don't want to be too long. <laughs> but yeah, we're at Wolfhamstow. <laughs> I also forgot to mention that it's the last day with the Scanias, as some say it was Scanias on the 97. So let's. Bid farewell to them. Just real context, West Ham bus garage is closing down. So they're changing garages and they're gonna be using Evo Setis and Gemini 3 or 2, I forgot which one it was. But one of those. So, fair to 97 Scanias. I did not like them. Scanias were terrible buses. I didn't like them. So that's why I, I wasn't too keen on the 97, but I feel like with the new buses, I'll probably use them more. Also, the only part about some of the Superloop is that they don't have USB-C charging ports. They'll have U the USB something, the lightning thing. I forgot what it's called, but yeah. It's just long. It's just looking long. It's not long, but SL1, if the A406 doesn't have traffic, I still have a good chance, you know? But yeah, first route done. Let's wait for the SL1 now. This route is that, like I said earlier, the charging ports are two USB. Someone tell me in the comments what this one is called. I forgot what it was called. But so I can't charge my phone on this bus, which is a big inconvenience just in case, for example, my phone was to die. Like, what would I use? But that's life. You don't get what you want sometimes. But it's going to take us to North Finchley bus station. This is because of the A406 as well, so I'm hoping that it goes smoothly. Because the A406 is known to have traffic. So if there's traffic, then that's bad. So we're on the SL1 um, at 56 minutes since I left um, North Woolwich, which is pretty good actually. 
SO3, SO3, SO2 is meant to take only like one hour basically, 58 to an hour, 58 minutes to an hour. So, chilling on the SO1, the app is really quiet though, which I don't like, but we'll vibe with it. And yeah, I'll keep you updated on where I end up. Not where I end up, but like anything significant that happens. And also, I'm trying to upload more because it's Easter now. I should be able to. I need video ideas, that's the thing. But I didn't do SL2, which I might do like a whole video dedicated to the SL2, as well as the SL5. I didn't do those two like properly. So I'll probably get a video for you guys of those routes soon. Even though they've already come out for like ages now, but I'll just do it anyways, just for content. And then yeah, so I'm just doing vlog. I'm just doing vlog style videos right now, just to chill in it. And yeah, I'm the S1 now. I don't know why it's raining on this side. It's not raining on that side. That's really. Obviously, this change for SL1 was like five minutes, I think. So, I'm hoping that all of them are five minutes and below because that's the amount of time I can afford to waste in a sense. But I'm just a bit cautious because the stopwatch is the actual one. So, if this presses, then it stops the whole thing. But at the time that I started at 9 40 in the morning and it's 11 04, so we're getting there. The next stop's my stop, and the SL1. S to North Finchley. Finchley. I think I can replicate the voice is concerning. But on the differences with this bus and the SL2, it's the same bus model, but there are poles for the middle seat on this one. And the maquette is slightly different for the prior priority seats. But it's rained, but I'm in the bus when it's rained, so it's very good that I'm caught in that shenanigan. And I haven't caught SL1 to North Finchley for a while actually, so it's good to look at the areas again and see what's up. And I need to go to the shop and buy something, but I don't want to lose my time. So if there's a changeover, because I know the SL7, because it's a long route, they don't come that often. So if it's a long changeover, then I'll probably go to the shop and buy something. But there's no shops like Heathrow though. That's the... Oh no, yeah, I'm going to Heathrow, yeah, that's... We'll just see what happens in it, but... Yeah, we're chilling right now. This is the stand for... That's one's finished up an hour and 27 minutes, which is very good. Well, Finchley's quite a decent area. I personally wouldn't like chill more Finchley, but... Ooh. Those buses are all catching fire, so Metro Line's risky behaviour with them using that bus. If you've seen the news that these buses are catching fire, those ones right there. But we're now just waiting for the SL10 to rock up. I think it's going to be that SL10 coming first, but this is where the different companies come into play because I've just done two Ariba routes. And now it's just the SL10. So this is the bus stand for SL10. You have SL10 and 13. So it's waiting for them to turn up really. And then yeah, we're chilling. So this that I feel like this stand you should like make the buses like loop around instead of 
reverse it like that because then if the SL10 needs to leave it has to wait for the 13 to do its reversing thing in it but it's leaving in like one minute I think I hope because as I said I'm adding the changeovers as well to get a more accurate representation and as other youtubers has, as other youtubers have said this is for science no not science physics physics has time in it so physics this driver is struggling to get to get to it it's struggling to park i feel like when i'm driving in a couple months or like in a couple years i will not be confident reversing a bus into a bus stand because those buses have a large overhang the overhang is the distance between the wheel the back wheel and the actual back of the bus But it's getting there though, this driver's doing good. SL10. So if you haven't noticed already, all of the maps they have different colors so we're going that way around so they all have different colors so they all have different colors just to distinguish between the lines because if they were all like one set color like on the map the infographics that i'll probably post or we'll like put in the video it'll all look like there's one big route but they're not they're all different routes but this is this route's run by Rat P Group, Ratty P P P Group. I like this company, but they're going bankrupt. <laughs> if you don't know already, the maquette. I quite like. I really do like the blue chargers, but they don't have USB C again, so I can't charge my phone on here. You can't even see the maquette anymore. But I really like the maquette of this route. This reminds me of the Metropolitan Line and stuff. And yeah. <laughs> right now I'm 34 minutes in. Honestly, one hour in and we're already on SL10. Like, wow, we're doing great. Finchley Central is the next stop. I'm just gonna quickly interrogate upstairs. So they have great. Nice maquette, nice maquette. Nice maquette, I must say. I like how you can just see the map when you're coming down the stairs, see if you've gone at the right stop. <laughs> it's been quite a bit since my last update. We're on one hour, 46 minutes. Cars driving like madness. The iBus has gone, <laughs> just disappeared. As I'll turn on the other side. I like the orange, but yeah, we're near. I think we're near Hendon Central or Hendon, I believe. Because the iBus isn't working. But yeah, we're just gonna see when we get to Harrow. But so far, we're doing good for time there. I feel like we're doing really good for time. I just feel like the iBuses need to work a bit more better because SL1, it was one or two, had the iBus start issues too, and we're on route, we're not on diversion. <laughs> so this is the junction where SL10 and 183 meet up and then they just go together simultaneously because it's basically the X183 from here to Harrow Head in Central next
Harry bus station. Two hours and 22 minutes in. And you know what's funny? I walk to the side and S09 is, wow, I thought it was departing, I can't even lie. But it departs from one of these stops. There it is, S09 is here. Quick changeover, quick, quick, quick changeover. But um, two hours and 24 minutes doing four routes. So that's pretty good actually, I can't even lie. I'm doing really good, I know I'm doing good. This is gonna be the busy route now, going to Heathrow Airport. It's gonna be the very busy route. Same bus, I don't need to explain the bus and and stuff again, it's the same bus design. So it's fine. That's all nine. I've decided to come upstairs now because on the SL10 I was downstairs and this is a similar model to the chain tracks. This is a similar model to the SL10 so I don't need to sit downstairs again. And now this is a bit dead. <laughs> Because this is, a, this is a Heathrow route as well. Downstairs is going to be full of people with their luggage and stuff for the Heathrow airport. And because it's the holidays as well, it's going to be really busy. So I'm coming upstairs now. Timing. I feel like I'm actually going to win. SL7 is going to depict if I win or not, quite literally. But we are on 2 hours and 25 minutes approaching South Harrow Station. But I have enjoyed myself. I haven't eaten there, so I need to eat when I have time to but my changeovers have been really smooth apart from the probably the SL2 to the SL1 wasn't as smooth I don't know they were all quite quick actually I can't lie to you but yeah 12.05 now and yeah we're getting there I feel like I'll probably write all the data down and then put it as an infographic at the end of the video or something just so you know what's going on and what my route durations were but yeah as of currently we're doing very very good <laughs> I've done it because um, this route map looks a bit more plain and empty. But yeah, same maquette, same seating, chargers, charging facilities, and all of the seats, grey floors. So this route, so this route is like a lighter than navy blue colour. I read you, it's like a green blue navy colour, it's really weird. I'll probably get the hex of it soon, but yeah, this route, I feel like my favourite is SL2, then SL1, and I've done those ones first, so these ones is just pushing through all of the routes now to get to the finish, but as of currently, we're doing good. I swear down, Harrow with their circular routes, it's so weird man, I don't like, I got my, I brought my airpods, so when I get on that SL7, I have to sit there for two hours. I'll be prepped up. I'll be ready for it. And yeah, we're just chilling now. South Harrow Station. South Harrow Station. Here we go.
find any. <laughs> Let's just get off this bus real quick. Find your Heathrow. That's one that's a nice. It's a nice route. It's a nice route. It's approved. Right Heathrow now. Three hours and twenty minutes. Now, if you're a bus enthusiast, you would understand that's one of our London buses actually. If you're a bus enthusiast and you've done the super loop or you've heard of the super loop, you'll understand what is next. And that is the SL7. This SL7 route is two hours long and it's very bad. Like SL7! Oh my god, it's not looking good for me, you know. It's actually not looking good for me. It's a two hour bus route as well. So it's looking treacherous right now, but what can I do about that? I can't do nothing. I just gotta sit down to find the route and just chill. But yeah, it's looking terrible. So these SL7 buses, getting on it at three hours and 22 minutes. They're from Route 101 in East London. This is just gonna be so bad. I'm not even excited. How did the bus drivers even drive this whole route? Honestly, I'm just rolling the bus. Man, we've got, we've got their suitcases and I'm just chilling. So they got my cat, which is really cool. We call my cat. SL7. They are luggage racks. Of course, if you're from London, you will not see these. That's the map. It's looking very long. Oh. So obviously, I'm gonna. Here's your luggage racks. They look really nice, actually. I, I wish London had lug, lug, luggage racks in it. Yeah, we're on SL7 now. hours and 20 minutes this route was so bad never again am i taking the sl7 for no reason right now the sl5 is in like one minute so i need to just one two step and get to the bus stand which is over there i can actually see it coming anyways so I don't think I'm going to need to 
break into two clips but five hours and 21 minutes and we're in Croydon East Croydon waiting for the SL5 Driver real quick. Thank you, driver. Thank you. <laughs> right, SL3 is coming now. Oh god, the wind. God, Dude, that's 61. So where's my SL3 then? Good time I missed it. Hold on. A lot of wind today. Apparently I haven't missed it. So I'm just walking up to the stop now. Oh my god, two, four, six. If any of you guys go Bromley North, I, have to, I highly advise you do 246 or 146. They're such good routes, man. I love those routes in the forest and stuff. We're at Bromley North at 5 minutes 53. Last route of the day. Last route of the day. Then I'm finished. Because man's tired. <laughs> Honestly, I'm actually quite tired, but we're pushing through, we're pushing through, we're gonna finish strong, man. It's just this traffic on SL7, man. SL7 messed me up so bad. But it's fine, because we've persevered and we vibed with it. <laughs> For some reason, SL3 has got an Ferrari 400 on it now. Madness. 
Where's the LTs when you need them? Doesn't matter, we'll vibe with it. Yeah, these yeah. is a hybrid. Last route of the day. I'm so tired. <laughs> but we'll do it though, we'll, we're gonna finish drunk. I believe in us. SL3 to Thamesmead. CCTV is used on this bus for your safety and security during the journey. parts of London that I haven't seen for so long which is amazing my feet hurt there's no Elizabeth line god nah today has I didn't think I was gonna make it you know after SL7 I was like I don't think I'm actually gonna make it I was dying after SL7 but now look at me I'm chilling with the SL3 but I need to eat I haven't eaten all day man 4.31 I'm on the final turn Come on, come on, drive up, push through, man. <laughs> oh my god, winning by mere minutes is actually embarrassing, you know. Because <laughs> that's just how, like, 
Ugh, I am. Thamesmead Town Centre. Thamesmead Town Centre. The final stop of the route. Thamesmead Town Centre. <laughs> I'm so done with this. I'm so done. I'm so finished with this. But this hybrid definitely made the route quicker though. Like, this hybrid was so good. This guy was smooth with it. He was like, I'm not wasting no time. Here's the Thamesmead bus stand, if you haven't seen it before. Is he gonna park in here? Bro, the two, two, nine drivers are struggling a bit. There's no stand space here, stand space here. Okay. Final time of... Focus. Six hours, 53 minutes and 48 seconds. No, six hours, 53 minutes and 18 seconds was my final time of this challenge. It's been a long one. <laughs> it's been so long. Now, if you have made it this far into the video, I wanted to thank you all for watching all the way and supporting if you have been since the start. But now it's time for the statistics. So altogether, this challenge did indeed take me six hours and 53 minutes. So we started at North Woolwich for the SL2 at 9.39. Then we arrived into Walthamstow at 10.28, which means that SL2 took us a grand total of 49 minutes. We then had a lovely wait time of six minutes in Walthamstow, which meant that we got on the SL1 at 10.34 and then we arrived to North Finchley High Road at 11.07, which means that SL1 took 33 minutes. After which, at Finchley, we was waiting for the SL10, and we waited for a total time of 4 minutes for it to turn up at 11.11, and then we got to Harrow at 12.01, which meant that the SL10 only took 50 minutes. Next up, after SL10, was the SL9. This changeover at Harrow was quite smooth in my opinion. I was waiting for about 20 seconds. We started at 12.02. Then we arrived at Heathrow Airport Central at around 12.58, which meant that this route only took 56 minutes. Next up was the route that I was dreading the most, the SL7. To be fair, I was waiting for only two minutes. We started at 101 and then we finished the route at 3, which meant that this route took an hour and 59 minutes. Wow. After that long SL7 trip, I was starting to lose hope. I really thought that I couldn't do it because of how long the routes were. But when I got to East Croydon, the SL5 was already there and waiting for me. So we started at 301 and we concluded at 332. It was only a one minute wait, so this trip only took 31 minutes. Not too bad. And last but not least, we have the SL3. We started at Bromley at 3.34, and then we got to Thamesmead at 4.32, which meant that this route was 58 minutes. We was waiting at Bromley for only two minutes, so it means that all the changeovers were all within a reasonable amount of time, and that was the end of the challenge end of planning and I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Well guys, I know I'm walking home, but that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below what you thought of the video. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.